Hello everyone, this is GoFan77, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Star Wars Interregnum mod for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. First things first, you need to find your way over to the ModDB page. This is the only place I put up legitimate downloads, and if you download it anywhere else, it may or may not be the latest version, and in theory could be bundled with malware or any sort of other bad thing, so please head over here. Uh, you can find the latest version, I either will directly link it from near the top of the home page, or you can dig up the most recent version under files, but we're just going to click here. So as of the filming of this video, the latest version is Alpha 3.31, uh, which works for Rebellion versions 1.90 and 1.91. I'm currently on 1.91, so we'll be using that. Just click the download now button. I have already downloaded to save some time and you can get started. You may also choose to uh, uh, download some of the optional mini mods that I'll also be covering just how they work in this video. If you just want to try the mod, you know, do not need to do this part, but uh, you can also either find this on the latest uh, files or you can click the customize button uh, as of right now, the latest version is for 1.83. And these just do things and let you customize your game to your liking. You can disable super weapons. You can make the combat go faster. You can make Titan levels reset when they die. Just a whole bunch of tweaks you can do to optimize the gameplay to your liking. Uh, we're releasing more of these all the time. But we currently have probably between one and two dozen right now. But you can download this as well, and I'll cover it later in the installation. The next part is, uh, so those will download to wherever it is your files go, and uh, next you need to find your Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion mod folder. As of the time I'm making this video, it's currently Mods Rebellion V1.85, but in the future maybe different things, but the process should be the same. Uh, this is usually uh, included in your uh, Microsoft My Games folder, and one of the uh, folders is a hidden folder, so you'll want to go and make sure that. Uh, oh gosh, how do I even do this? In Windows 10, uh, oh yeah, folder and search options. Make sure uh, one of these options should be uh, hide hidden folders. Make sure show hidden folders. We want to make sure we can see hidden folders. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm, it was right in front of me the whole time. Yes, make sure show hidden files, folders, and drives is set up. This is Windows 10. There's an equivalent option on older or different operating systems. And you should be able to navigate your way over here from My Games, Ironclad Games, Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion, and then Mods Rebellion v1.85 or whatever the current version is. If you have any doubt about what the latest mod or what your mod folder should be or you think it's not there, there is a button in game you can click to show you where it is and it will also generate the mod folder if it is for some reason missing. So uh, you want to grab the zip files you've got in uh, my downloads or whatever and extract them to this directory. I've already done that, but I like using 7-zip and then cutting them over here and using the extract here option. Uh, one common hiccup is you want to make sure if you go into say Star Wars Interregnum Alpha 3.31 is you immediately you just see this one folder and then you get stuff like Galaxy Game Info Mesh here. You know, If you see another folder that says Star Wars Interregnum uh, your extraction software may have created an extra folder and you will need to go in it, cut all this stuff and move it up one level. So that is the most common reason that mods uh, appear to do nothing when you apply them. Uh, something else, uh, you may notice that you will get a pop-up that says, uh, asking if you want to replace your enabled mods.txt. Uh, basically, the zip file includes the enabled mods.txt file that tells the game to load the mod automatically when they start. So if you say yes to that, you actually can just start the game and the mod should already be loaded and that'll save you a few steps which is good uh, if you are currently playing other mods or you just 
didn't want to do that or it didn't work for some reason, I'm going to show you how to do it manually here in just a moment. And with that, uh, I think I will do just that and launch Sins on Steam here. This is with uh, out the enable mods.tech. So if you were enabling the mod from scratch from vanilla. So on the main menu options, you're going to uh, go to the mods tab. If for some reason you couldn't find your mod folder or you thought it wasn't there or you're not sure if it's the right one, you can hit the handy show mod path folder. And wherever it tells you, is where you need to put in the mods, even if it's, is where you need to put them, uh, mod, uh, even if it completely contradicts what's here, this is where the game is thinking it needs to grab it, so. Now, to actually enable the mod itself, first we're going to turn on the enhanced 4x mod, uh, that was in, this was included in the download, and is, uh, it's basically an entire other mod that I put all my non-Star Wars work in. Uh, you can play it by yourself. It's you know gives you hero units and uh, revised economics, all sorts of fun stuff. But it is needed for Star Wars Interregnum to run. It is built entirely on top of this mod. Then you will enable Star Wars Interregnum, in this case Alpha 3.31, or whatever your most current version is. And make sure in your mod order that you move it up so that Star Wars Interregnum is above the enhanced 4x mod. This must always be the case. It will not work properly if, or probably even crash, if you try to do it outside of this mod order. Now we're going to hit apply changes. You'll get a nice loading screen. And momentarily it is now loaded and you'll see the UI is different. You know, we're now playing Star Wars music and everything's fun. And you can begin enjoying the mod. Uh, I would recommend just, if this is your first time uh, playing the mod, just playing by itself. But the time may come that you want to get into the some of our optional mini mods. So I'm going to go over uh, how to set them up as, all, uh, as well, since I'm right here. Uh, the first, there's basically a few rules you can follow. And otherwise, it is completely up to you how you want to set them up. You can use any or all of them as you please for the most part whatever interests you. So the first rule is any mini mods you choose to use must go above both the main Enhanced 4x mod and Star Wars Interregnum. These two need to be your bottom. Well, Enhanced 4x is always on the bottom, followed by Star Wars Interregnum. And then any mini mods you like, which have the prefix of either E4x or INT, need to go above both of them in the mod order. You'll get funny things if you do not uh, follow this rule and possibly crashes. Next, for interregnum, uh, look at uh, the mini mods you want to use. If they're first, check if there is an int or interregnum version of the mini mod. For example, if there is an uh, int faster combat and e4x faster combat. In this case, you want to make sure and use the int version because you were playing Star Wars interregnum. If you were just playing the enhanced 4x mod. You would play, or you would use just the E4X version. If there is not an INT version of a particular mini mod, you can use the E4X version, just like I've done here with more tactical slots, and it'll be just fine. Uh, in that case, it will work just as well with both Interregnum and E4X. So you only use the INT version if there is not an E4X uh, version of the same thing, or I guess I should say that the other way around. Uh, you can use the E4X mod mini mods as long as there is not an INT version of the same one for Star Wars Interregnum. And Interregnum has a few that do not have equivalent uh, E4X ones like Beskar, which uh, makes the Mandalorian Raiders in this mod harder. Uh, as of the time of this video, the only two mini mods you cannot use together are... Uh, Beskar and Deathmatch mode in Interregnum. But in theory, as we release more, there might be more uh, additional complications. Uh, there are readmes in each mini mod and on the download page for the mini mods that will detail if 
any of these are the case, but as of right now, uh, in theory, the order, as long as you don't have both of these two enabled at the same time, you can use any and all combinations of them. Uh, the download page for the mini mods will also include a sample screenshot of having basically as many of them as you can cram at once on. And if you want to be safe, you can follow the relative order that is in that screenshot on the download page to help guide, uh, to make sure you have a valid order. And I believe that is it. You are ready to start playing Star Wars Interregnum. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, feel free to, of course, come on to the ModDB page and leave comments. I check it pretty regularly if you have any issues or have any ideas for the mod or uh, ideas of how I can make these instructions simpler, perhaps. And uh, hope you have a fun time playing it, and I will see you later.